Hey guys, it's Tori. So I am going to do a huge book haul. Okay, this is all of the books that I've gotten since I moved into my dorm in college, which is a total of, I believe, 26 books, as well as my September wrap-up, which is really, really short, unfortunately. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the September wrap-up because that won't take long at all. The only book that I was able to read in September was I Finished The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Ade, and this book was absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for the next book to come out. It is oh, gorgeous. I loved it so much, and it took me so long to read because I was so busy, but I finished it, and I cannot wait. Right now, I'm currently reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, and it's taken me over a month to not even, I mean, almost a month to not even get halfway through it. So, hopefully I'll have that one done by October. We'll see. Okay, on to the haul. So, this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to, like, show the books, name the authors, and not really talk about them much, because I want to keep this video as short as possible. So, let's start with the first stack. I've got Rebel by Marisa Gieborn. Sorry, didn't mean to butcher that if I did. And then I've got Remnants of Tomorrow by Cassie Taylor. Infinite Days, a vampire queen novel by Rede Rebecca Maisel. And The Haven by Carol Lynch Williams. Okay, for the next stack, I've got The Lux by Anna Godberson, and Prophecy by Ellen O, followed by two books in this series that I read a long time ago but fell in love with, and I found them on Book Outlet, and they are A Beautiful Dark and A Fractured Light by Jocelyn Davies. Check it out. The series is great. It's about angels and... Uh, Ah, oh, it's great. You gotta read it. Okay, and now I've got Crown of Midnight, second book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss. I've got Ruby Red and Sapphire Blue. Ruby Red I actually got from Anna. You know, uh, I've done a bunch of coll collabs with her. So, this one's from her, but I bought Sapphire Blue via Book Outlet. Love that website. It's a dangerous place for me. And I also bought If I Should Die, which I think is the third book in its series by Amy Plum. I need to get the rest of the series before I can actually read it. Hopefully I will do that event I will do that soon. Okay, and then I've got a beautiful disaster. Beautiful di <laughs> Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. My friends, oops, have been wanting me to read this book for a long time, and I finally found it bargain priced, and so I decided to get it. Then I got the hardcover for Eternal by Jillian Shields. This is the third book in the Immortal series, and I actually own the whole series, but I found, I had the paperback of this one, and I found the hardcover, so I bought it. Now I just need the hardcover of the first one, and I'll have the whole series in hardcover! Yay! And then I got Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. This cover is beautiful. Like, how could you not get this book? I love it. I haven't read it yet, but just look how pretty. Ah. All right, next up I got Cruel and Altered by Jennifer Albin. There's also a third book, but I, it's not, I didn't, I couldn't find the paperback. I can't talk, apparently. I'm sorry. It's fall break over here now, and apparently I can't function. But first book, second book, third book is green. I kind of can't wait to get it. You know, I'll let you know when I do. I promise. And then I got Through the Overnight by Veronica Rossi. I had the first one already, Under the Never Sky. And found the second one on Book Outlet, so I got it. And they have a third one. I didn't know that. But now I do, and I'm going to have to try to get it eventually. Okay, and the last stack of books that I've got starts off with City of Lost Souls, which is book five in the uh, City of Bones series. I still need book four and six. I'm working on it, but I'm trying to get the whole series in paperback because I have the rest of them in paper paperback already, so I'm trying to keep that going. 
Then I got Eve and Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. It looks really cool, and so I decided, why not check it out? So, I got it. And then I got Lux Beginnings and Opposition, which is 1 and 2 and 5 by Jennifer L. Armentrap. These are one of my favorite YouTubers, Sasha, his favorite author, Jennifer L. Armentrout. So, you know, of course I had to check it out. I just need to get books three and four, just the middle one for it. I think it's Composition is the name of it. I don't know, I gotta find it. But hopefully I will be able to. And finally, the last book on this list is Embers and Echoes by Karsten Knight. This cover, though, bruh, like... Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I feel like Anna right now because I'm flipping out about these covers. It's just, ah, oh, dude, they're beautiful. Look at that. Wouldn't you want to buy that too? Okay, so that is all the books that I have bought since I've been in college, which has only been like seven weeks. So I've got 26 books in seven weeks. A bit much, some might say, but nah. You can always use more books, right? Furthering my education, broadening my mind. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my October TBR while I'm at it. So for the month of October, I plan to finish Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I actually plan to finish it this weekend because it's my fall break. So I won't have classes tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then after I finish that, I plan to read Crown of Midnight, also by Sarah J. Moss. And then, I think, since apparently I'm not able to read books that much, as much as I would like to, I'm only going to have one more for my TBR, and that is, mm, I'm going to go for Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, because my friend Macy decided that she would threaten me if I didn't read it. So, I'm going to read this one. It's going to be great. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I... I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. There we go. Since none of my roommates are here, I have the entire dorm room to myself for this weekend. Which is lovely. I get to do what I want, watch whatever movies I'm currently watching Les Mis right now. I'm gonna watch musicals like it ain't nobody's business. And I'm going to read books. It's gonna be the best fall break ever. Bye, you guys. See y'all in the next one.